hi lovelies welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by in this particular video we shall be continuing from where we stopped if you've not watched the first video i'll be dropping the link in my description box so guys thank you for stopping by if you've not yet subscribed to this channel please be part of this family please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any of my videos thank you guys thank you so guys without wasting much of our time let's get started so guys from the previous video we actually cut the neck of the front so i'll go ahead and work on the front piece so now this is my front um piece i'll go ahead from the folded edge i'm so sorry i didn't know um it wasn't showing from the folded edge of your front piece just go ahead and mark um, one inch down just mark one inch down we'll be marking one inch down from the front neck depth just mark one inch down and connect straight we'll be cutting out that one inch Just go ahead and cut out the the front so guys i'm done cutting like i said from the folded edge measure one inch from the folded edge and cut so now i'll go ahead and cut um the ham hole that is the 0 0.5 inch that we came in words with for the front ham hole So go ahead and cut the 0 0.5 inch, inch that we came inwards on the front ham hole. So now, actually for the front piece, a strip is actually going to be joining the two pieces together so as you can see i'll go ahead and place the back piece to the front piece just go ahead and join the two shoulders together with half an inch so i'll just go and join and i'll come back and show us so guys i'm done joining the shoulders together that's the front and the back together with half an inch so it's me trying to place the front piece to the back piece to align properly So I'll just go ahead and pipe the front from the waist to the neck to the neckline because I'm not making use of a lining. So I'll be piping um, the edges with bias. So I'll just go ahead and pipe and come back and show us. So guys, I'm done piping the neck. As you can see, I'm done piping. So we'll go ahead and cut our sleeve now i'm gonna have to put my fabric into two now the sleeve length i'm working with is nine inches i've gone ahead to add 1.5 inches to the nine inches that is um 10.5 inches since i'm not using lining so i added 1.5 inches now from the folded edge coming words by four inches mark four inches from the folded edge from this star folded edge you come down by six inches you mark like so you connect your line that is connect the six inches to the four inches so guys after you're done connecting the six inches to the four inches the round sleeve, her round sleeve is 18 inches. 18 inches divided by 2 is 9. Now, from that um, place I marked um, 6 inches, I placed my tape rule and I measured, I marked 9 inches and I added 1.5 inches to it. So, whatever you have on your round sleeve, that's 10.5 you minus 1.5 inches on the hemming parts 
on the hemming part you get so that is so uh, 10.5 minus 1.5 inches that's 9 just go ahead and connect to your ham hole so now half of the 6 inches is 3 you just go ahead and mark 3 and connect like so connect like so from the foot that they just use a free hand or if you have um, a cover ruler you make it of the cover ruler you connect like so from the foot there to the three inches that we marked that is half of the six inches so now from that half of the six inches which is the tree you place your arm i mean your cover ruler like so and you connect Now go ahead and cut. So now guys, this is a basic um sleeve. If you want to cut a uh, basic sleeve, this um sleeve, this method can you can use it for any um size you get. This is a basic sleeve. So I'll just place some um, the piece, the one piece that I've cut, I'll just go ahead and fold my fabric i'll place what i've cut so that i can be able to cut another so i can have two pieces so guys after you're done cutting just go ahead and notch notch the center of your sleeve so guys you just go ahead and join your front piece to your back piece with one inch or you can as well you can as well sew your sleeve to your um ham i mean to your blouse before joining with one inch any which way that works for you just to so guys i'm done attaching my sleeve as you can see i'm gonna have to hem the bottom with 1.5 inches so now we'll be attaching the strip that's we'll be attaching the strip on the neck um, width that's what will be joining the two piece of the front so what i have is 3.5 inches so i'm gonna have to call this um long um long uh, strip that's 1.5 inches i'll be folding like so just fold and fold again you fold again you go ahead and sew on top so neatly when you're done sewing you go ahead and place it underneath and you stitch on the both side so the you'll be i left a gap of 2.5 inches that are where, where i'll be attaching the strip so whichever way any gap that you want to attach go ahead and do so now this is the long um um the tie that i've gone ahead to cut for the band so we are touching it on the waist that's our band so i'll go ahead and measure whatever i have on my waist that's from one hand to another whatever whatever i have on my waist i'll go ahead and measure so i have 38 inches as you can see i have 38 inches now the width of my band is um four inches guys the width is four inches so i'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two i'll be notching the middle parts so i've gone ahead to fold into two i'll be i have notched i'll go ahead and notched so now i'll be placing my band on we have notched that is the half of the band that is the middle of the band so you go ahead and fold your band like so you'll be sewing so guys let me not confuse us so now from the notch where i notched from the back i'll go ahead and measure from that side to the end part of the waist to know whatever i have i have uh, 19. so from the middle of the band i'll go ahead and measure the 19 or 18 inches yeah yeah this is what i have so i'm gonna head to measure this is what i have from the middle so i'll go ahead and sew this other part this remaining part i'll be sewing it on the wrong side guys you sew you do um do the same thing on the other hand when you're done sewing you go ahead and turn 
so guys i've gone ahead to attach my strip and my band i'm sorry i forgot to tell us though my round waist is 38 inches plus 30 more inches that is what i added on the band so i've gone ahead to add my strip i added like four of it and i left the gap of two two and a half inches so guys or three inches i left gap of two and a half and also three inches so just go ahead and attach your band so thank you guys for watching please if you've not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button thank you guys love y'all bye